If you find that your car is pulling from one side or another while driving, it might be that you're riding on the incorrect tire pressure. Hi, I'm Barbara Terry for AutoMD. <laughs> Tires actually lose pressure over time from the valve stem and or the rim mounting surfaces. Parts and tools needed. For this project, you will need the following parts. Possible replacement tire, tire valve system, tire rim. You will also need the following tools. Tire pressure gauge, air chuck. Your own vehicle's components and parts may differ, so always refer to your vehicle's owner's manual for details. For your safety, we recommend wearing safety glasses, latex gloves, and closed-toed shoes when working on your vehicle. The first thing you want to do is locate your tire's valve stem, unscrew the valve cover, and put it in a safe place. You'll then want to take a tire gauge, actually insert it onto the valve stem in order to get the existing tire pressure that is in your tires. You want to make sure to do this with all four tires on the vehicle, which can literally be done in, let's say, the time that it takes to fill your car up with gas. Also make sure to check the condition of your spare tire about twice a year to make sure that you don't get out on a long or short road trip and determine that you have a flat spare. In order to determine the proper air pressure it needs to be in your tires, you can refer to your driver's side door jam, your car's owner's manual, or my favorite way, call your local tire store and give them the make, model, and size of your tire. Now it's time to road test our vehicle to make sure the car's not pulling from one side to another. On behalf of AutoMD, I'm Barbara Terry with how to maintain your tire pressure.